Unium is the subscription management hub for B2B SaaS companies. Whether you're looking to expand to new markets, experimenting with pricing models, or simply want a streamlined quote to cash process, Unium got your back. On top of that, Unium Insights provides the SaaS metrics you need for reporting to the board and for future company valuation. It gives you the key figures needed to drive your business forward and take strategic decisions. Unium. We help SaaS companies manage their B2B customer subscriptions. Tavarit is a German deep tech company. Tavarit is a B2B AI SaaS solution that helps metal manufacturing companies reduce energy and quality costs by prescribing optimal machine settings. Tavarit has global enterprise customers in 10 countries and saved more than 14 million for them. Tavarit's focus on sustainable manufacturing has impacted over 55 metal processing plants, reducing their carbon emissions. Our vision is to drive the world towards sustainable and zero waste manufacturing. Visit www.tvarit.com to know more about us. Welcome to StartupRad.io your podcast and YouTube blog covering the German startup scene with news, interviews, and live events. Hi, and welcome to this month in German, Swiss, and Austrian startups. Um, so it's October 22. You, you are here with StartupRate.io, and this time with me, uh, Chris, from Essen, Germany, because I'm on a uh, Germany trip, and... Joe from Frankfurt, as always. How are you? How are things in Frankfurt? Um, from my old study, uh, which I haven't left for quite a few days, because I was until yesterday, I was in isolation due to Corona. So if I'm coughing, if I'm uh, not up to the top of my game, I'm really sorry, guys. I'm just recovering. Okay, but you're back healthy and uh, we're happy about that we are recording this episode on thursday october the 20th in 2022 so things that happen after might not be a part of it as you know and as always um all news not yet included here will be published in our next news episode in our november wrap-up which will be published on thanksgiving um november 24th so something more we're looking forward to we hope you will enjoy your halloween i heard this year you will uh, it will be the first time that you go trick or treating with your two boys to scare the neighbors what's your um dress um i'll i'll be a jedi knight uh little henry will be a uh, yoda because he now has the right size for a costume there um and, and, and my youngest boy um ben uh will put him into a pumpkin uh, outfit maybe i come to and be chewbacca <laughs> oh, so cool. you're always yeah. welcome <gasps> anonymous like no one knows maybe if some chewbacca shows up behind you it might be me so but uh moving on if we're if we're looking uh at what is happening in today's episode we have a couple of highlights and um that we will talk about mid more bit more in depth moving along so um another one of our former guests got a snoop dog investment that we will is something we will talk about the quick delivery startup gorillas seems to sell itself to the competitor git here um according to bloomberg that Despite an earlier announcement, uh, they are looking for more investments. Uh, Gadget rental service Grover adds $270 million in venture debt, getting it close to 2 billion euros. Our former guest Nuri, formerly Bitwala, had to file for insolvency. Now investors jump ship and the company is wound down this year. Volocopter is sued by early crowdfunding backers. Home24 has a takeover offer from a brick and mortar furniture retailer chain in Germany. And Bio and Tech takes on cancer. Also, Munich based travel tech Hollydo raises 100 million euros in a combination of 75 million equity and 25 million debt funding. Let's talk startups but first couple of housekeeping notes as always you can tune into our internet radio station at www.startup.radio um, you can subscribe to all our things if you go to linktree so linktr 
ee slash startup radio um this is where you get all the links and now you kick it off with who are our enablers exactly thanks chris our enablers this show was made possible by hessen trade and invest with a brand invest minus in minus hessen you can learn more about them in the link provided in the show notes we also run a dedicated sub podcast with all interviews and news in cooperation with them you can find it at techstartups.sounder.fm startupraven.com the best way to identify investors and cooperation partners for early stage startups you can sign up for early access at startupraven.com Chris, let's dive a little bit into the top news. And this is interesting because the second interview guest we had um, gets an investment from Snoop Dogg. The first one was Kansativa. We talked um, with them about it earlier this year. And now Finn Age Hensel, the founder of Sanity Group, also gets investment by Snoop Dogg. Um, Uh, the headline goes, Europe's largest cannabis funding today, Snoop Dogg-backed German cannabis startup gets 37.6 million euros B, led by British American Tobacco. And uh, we have to say just yesterday, there was German news uh, uh, about, with a draft for cannabis legislation and legalization that came out, basically saying, well, if it has a certain, um, uh, uh, if it has only a certain level of THC in it, then it's allowed if you own or buy less than 20 grams. So Germany is also definitely one of those countries where legislation seems to be moving and This is why you also see the um, the startup activity in that industry, I guess. I do believe we have the news with the uh, uh, with legalization proposal down here in the show notes. I remember that I converted it even to ounces. <laughs> um, gor gorillas may soon be bought by Getir, delivery startup. Getir from Turkey, by the way, is in advance talks to buy gorillas writes Bloomberg. I'll quote a little bit from the article. The proposed deal for gorillas would be a mix of cash and equity. So Getir would, uh, would buy gorillas in a mix of cash and Getir shares. The combination would give Getir, which is backed by Mubala Investment Co. and Sequoia Capital, scale in key European markets, including the UK, UK and Germany. Gorillas had previously held talks with a number of competitors about the prospects for a merger or sale of its business. People familiar with the matter said previously. And Chief Executive Kagan Suma said earlier this year that he planned to look for new financing to recalibrate the company to work toward profitability. Also quite a frequent guest I would like to say is Grover, the Berlin-based company that rents out gadgets. Now they take over home 270 million euro. As consumer spending tightens, yet appetites for tech remains the same. Berlin-based Grover sees an uptick in rental interest and is now bringing its debt funding to close to 2 billion euros to meet demand. And As we said, they took home 270 million euros from London-based M&G. As Chris already hinted, our former guest, Nuri, at the time we interviewed them, called Bitwala, will be wound down. Despite seeing interest from investors, they could not get one to sign up. So the company will be shut down until the end of the year. I think I read last time you can use their account would be around mid of December, the last day. Um, ah, and Neobank Vivid makes all former Nuri customers a good offer. We have the news with the insolvency uh, with interested um, investors, as well as the news that they will be wound down linked in the show notes. Volcopter, the air taxi company from Bruchsal, is now sued by crowd investors. We talked in the past that they have not been very happy with the deal they did when they became a unicorn. They were more looking at the SPAC deal and really get a lot of money for what they invested early in the startup. But right now it looks like they will need to stick with a 1% interest rate of their former investments. 
So 177 of the former crowd backers, very early stage backers, um, who feel they should have gotten a fair participation, especially since they backed the company early on, are now suing them. Chris, this is about home home uh, 24. You want to take yes. it over? Not before I don't say that. Uh, not before I say that the autonomous flying and volocopter thing. As I say, probably every month, it's such a weird industry to me. Good Lord. I'm happy uh, it, it quieted kind of down. Um, yeah, so we mentioned Home24 on a regular basis. So it's um, basically furniture. Um, and now their, uh, st their time as a standalone startup may be over. And uh, we talked already in the past about how they lowered their forecasts and how they are operating in a tough environment. But now XXX Lutz, it's, which is a traditional brick and mortar furniture store on the, I would say, more economic end of the market. Um, and it, w when you've been visiting Germany, it's the ones with this like oversized red chair in front of it when you drive by, always close to the Autobahn. No, that are the stores we're no. talking about. And I would say it is one of the most visible competitors to IKEA, I would say. And, um, yeah, holding, holding up quite well in the end. Um, but they are, uh, they made an offer to buy home 24. Completely different industry though is bio and tech, which a lot of you may know by now, obviously because of the COVID vaccine. And the next big thing they take on is, uh, cancer. The doctors are hopeful it could lead to new treatments for melanoma, bowel cancer, other tumor types. And, uh, they are using the same mRNA technology, which means like modified RNA, which by the way, the big competitor that they have, Moderna, also just stands for modified RNA. Um, so the mRNA technology is being used by sending an instructional blueprint to cells to produce an antigen or protein. In COVID, this antigen is part of the spike protein of the virus. In cancer, it would be a marker on the surface of tumor cells, which teaches the immune system then to attack it. And uh, we know all this obviously not... <laughs> Uh, because we studied medicine, but because the BBC explained it to us. Could COVID vaccine technology crack cancer is the article that we find about that, found about that. And then travel tech is not dead. Munich-based travel tech startup Hollidoo raises 100 million euros for renting out vacation homes. The 75 million Series E investment is led by VC 83rd North, uh, 83 North. Other investors include North Zone, HV Capital, Vintage Investment Partners, and Common Fund Capital. Hollidoo also raised 25 million euros in venture debt. Brothers Johannes and Michael Siebers will use the money for product development, geographic expansion, and acquisitions. Um, housekeeping and time to brag. We kind of, um, we want to keep it humble this time around and just move on already to the ecosystem part of the show. German startups are on the rise. We have a blog post aggregating Germany's most extensive startup survey of 2022. Um, that is actually a Medium article written by our very own Joe. Seems to be an okay, okay-ish guy. Then 50% uh, of Germans would pay more for startups. Hey. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm on air. 50% of Germans would pay more for products from the circular economy. And then Mika, which stands for Markets and Crypto Ads Asset Legislation, um, what Europe's, uh, yeah, and it came up with a draft. And uh, we have an article about what Europe's crypto assets regulation means for the continent. So if you want to know more, it's also in there. Moving on to a couple of cities where the music is playing and that is the hubs section this month led by you. Yes, the okay guy now takes over. <laughs> Hub section. Uh, here we want to highlight some hidden gems and cities of general startup interest. Frankfurt, Investor 3U made obviously 150 million profit from the sale of Frankfurt-based we clap to Dutch exact group. Going a little bit more south to Munich, DataGuard lands 61 million to roll out its all-in-one compliance and security platform in new markets. 
And very interesting, took me, the news took me back to my childhood. Horst Brandstetter Group, the company behind the Playmobil Toys, buys 25% of Munich-based travel-tainment startup Cakes, which offers earphones for kids. They have something that is a little bit bigger than a coin, and you just attach it next to one of the earphones and then place what's in there. It's a, kind of a competitor of the Tony Box. Yeah, uh, Heilbronn, a very uh, a small city close to Stuttgart, um, wants to be one of Europe's prime AI hubs, and they are starting an incubator program now. So there you can really, I think an American would think that it's one of the suburbs even of Stuttgart. So it's a, it's a definitely like a tech and engineering cluster there. Uh, Saarbrücken, Saarbrücken-based uh, AI startup QuantP raised 2.5 million euros in a pre-seed for their AI risk assessment. They are a spin-off of the Helmholtz Center for Information Security. And um, Saarbrücken, not necessarily um, a big startup place for now, but um, also in an interesting position close to France. Um, which also brings us to another French language country, Switzerland, uh, since we also always look at the German language speaking parts of other countries. And in Switzerland, we see that Swiss fintech startup Leggy backs 22 million euro dollars in a Series B round. Swiss based Velas partners, so, sorry, Swiss based Velas partners with GEM or GEM Digital to make blockchain tech accessible. accessible. And they raised 138 million euros and Zurich based. Oh no, we also had Zurich based Leggy. Sorry, that was a double twice mentioned article. Austria, Austrian digital health startup Medudoc, Medudoc raised 2 million euros in seed funding and the Vienna based software as a service company Infinica with a C was sold for 9.5 million euros to Doxe, Doxy from Italy. Doxe, I pronounce it Doxe because I, I thought Italian and because it's written D-O-X-E-E. -E. Um, that's it for the hubs. General news, tech news, companies news. Um, first of all, new VC funds, if you're looking for money right now, we have 0.9 Capital, which raises 180 million euros seed fund. It's their sixth fund to invest in B2B startups. And we have the Amsterdam-based Navion, Nuion, Navion, I guess, goes easier on, rolls easier from the tongue. Um, they unveiled a new 130 million euros fund for early stage software startups. Now uh, to your forte, fintech. Yes, fintech. This could be a case of either bad or very good timing. Europe's nine billion digital bank N26 launches crypto trading service ain't bear market. Then we do have two pieces on Bitpanda. The ones, a recent article revealed more data about crypto union, unicorn Bitpanda during the crypto hype. They grew more than 700% and generated almost half a billion revenue in one year. And the second piece of news on Bitpanda, before we Bitpanda became a unicorn and 26 was looking into buying the new broker in 2020. We have the very big reinsurance company Munich Re. They buy the Intratech startup MPT from Allianz. The company offers a marketplace for IT services exclusively for insurance companies. Check24 is a platform money consumers in Germany are using to compare everything from financial services to cell phone plans. They worked with FinTech Raisin, but now kicked them out and offered the service themselves. And also KKR owned payment FinTech Unza, formerly Heidelpay, leased their home in Heidelberg and relocates some stuff to Germany. Going into a little bit more general news, tier mobility owned spin lays off about 10% of its workforce and exits to markets. Air Taxi Lilium has found weaknesses in its internal accounting and control function. They are working on the problems. Delivery Hero founder Lukasz Gadowski invests in compact art particle 
Accelerators. You can learn more about him in our interview. And former Tesla manager Philipp Schröder expands with his green startup 1,5, 1,5 to Australia, buying local Tesla partner Natural Solar for an undisclosed amount. And startup Milli V, Milli V, Milli V has to file for insolvency since not enough people wanted to buy a 570,000 euro beetle, which is actually surprising. I was basically the only one on the list. They told me, they told me, I can, I can now disclose, but I'm waiting. Um, and we have a very few. You keep I'm, waiting? Yeah, yeah. maybe it's going to come. Um, yeah, just uh, maybe one little uh, thing to add here. Check24 is something that I really use regularly. I really like it. But um, for people not familiar, that familiar with the German market, you can think of Check24 a bit like uh, Booking.com because they also have hotel stuff and uh, hotel websites and travel websites. And that also gives you an idea how sometimes the market or the, the, the companies in the market not have such a high regard for it. So uh, yeah, as it's always the case with one of the, those comparison websites, especially since they have so much power now. Just a little bit of background there. But um to wrap things up, we have very few and selected fundraisings that uh, caught our eye. We have Berlin-based Patronus, which, I mean, we all know from Harry Potter. They picked up a magical 27 million euros to support seniors in their daily lives. MakerSide, the AI and data platform that powers sustainable product and supply chain decisions at scale, secures 18 million US dollars in a Series A. Imerock, Imerock lends $17 million to process streaming data um, and a round led by Cusp Capital for 86, 468 Capital, Cortical Ventures and Essence VC. Berlin-based up Ecoligo raises 10 million euros in a Series A funding for their solar as a service offering. So we might need to learn a new uh, SAAS meaning. And workists collect, workist, excuse me, collects 9 million euros to automate document processing. And by that, I'm handing in my resignation for today automatically. We will be back November 24th with our November wrap up. Um, we have some more news to stay ahead of the curve. Um, some of it is about unicorns, how much equity you should give your early employees and what outperformers do differently to tap internal talent. So um, a bit food for thought there. But apart from that, that was it from my like prison cell like hotel room in Essen, Germany. It was a pleasure. I hope you all have a wonderful November getting cozy and ready for uh, the end of the year. It's bye from me. Goodbye. Bye, Chris. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. That's all, folks. Find more news, streams, events, and interviews at www.startuprad.io. Remember, sharing is caring.